What's up, y'all? Your boy, Ken. Today, I just want to talk about why do Christians evangelize? Why do Christians go out and talk to people? I know you've probably seen it while you're out. Um, like, Christians handing out, you know, tracts, handing things out to you, talking to you. And um, there's reasons for it. And uh, one reason is because Jesus said so. Jesus said to his disciples and future disciples that you go out and you tell the gospel. You preach, you speak the gospel to every creature. Now, what is the gospel? The gospel means the good news. The gospel means good news. Okay. So it just like, you know, we got to spread the good news, man. And sometimes, you know, it, it it may take a while for us to get to that good news because we got to we got to let the person know about the law of God, you know, and let me just say this. Let me say this first. If you see a baby crawling on the floor, you know, you have a little baby crawling on the floor and there are some marbles on the floor. What are you going to do? Because you know what babies do. Babies like to crawl around and mess with things and put things in their mouth. So, you know, you should know that the baby is going to crawl to that marble and pull it, put it in his mouth and choke to death. So what you going to do, you go to that, you go to the marble and you take it away. Now, after that, the baby probably going to look at you and it's going to cry. It's going, you know, you took their toy away. You took what they was going to get away from them. They're going to cry. But they don't know that you just saved their life. That's the same thing with Christians. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get offended with Christians because Christians tell them what they don't want to hear about their lifestyle, about, you know, God's law. And they have to give up their sins. You know, people love their sins, man. A guy love to be with his girlfriend and not be married and, and have sex. People love to steal, you know. People love to look at porn. They love their sins. So when you tell them that that is wrong and you can't do that, according to God, not according to us, according to God, they get offended. So it's just just like the baby in the marbles. And, um, you know, I know it's tough, man. When you, when to evangelize, you got to, you got to give the law. Got to let people know what the law is of God, the Ten Commandments and stuff like that. But if they're humble and they're, you know, they, they're humble and they're patient enough to listen, you can give them the gospel. And the gospel is the good news. The gospel is that God made a way for us to not go to hell. God made a way for us to not die in our sins. And that is to repent, repent and trust him, repent of your sins, repent of everything you did, which means confess and trust Jesus, trust Jesus. Just like I'm trusting this chair right now is supporting me. I know I'm not going to fall. That's how you trust Jesus. And, you know, that's, that's all Christians want, you know, and I know the misconception, the misconception is that a lot of Christians are just judgmental and I, I can imagine there's some out there just going like preaching, you're going to go to hell. And it, it turns people off. But, you know, real Christians are of love and love. You tell people the truth, but you don't you don't be angry about it. You don't judge them. You just just tell them the truth. So that's just how you can tell from a from a judgmental person saying he's a Christian to a real Christian. And, you know, Christians don't want anything, you know, they just want to, they want to tell you this to save you because this world is temporary. This body is temporary. Where we end up for eternity, that lasts forever. So we got to tell them, you know, our family, friends, you know, strangers, that's why we do that. And we don't want nothing. We don't want your money. We don't want you to come to our church. We don't want you to act all religious and Go get some holy water and all that stuff. We just want you to think for yourself. Repent for your sins. 
and uh, trust Jesus. And he will rinse you clean. He will change all the things that you you like, the sinful things. And he'll change you around in the inside. And you won't like those things anymore. And it'll be natural. It won't be forced. And uh, you'll live a righteous life. And you'll have salvation when you die. And that's, you know, that's amazing. That's the gospel right there. You know, I know a lot of people want to change. You know, they want to change and stop doing what they're doing. But once you go to God, he'll do that for you. He'll do that for you in the inside. And you won't even have the cravings that you used to have. And it will make you feel good when you do good things. Yeah, and that's it. Just wanted to tell my point of view. So, like, if you see some some Christian people talking in the street or like or someone talk trying to talk to you about Jesus, don't don't be harsh on them, you know. Just understand that point of view. But yeah, this is Ken. Like, subscribe. Hopefully you get this message and um y'all get right with God. Have a good one.